Have you ever wondered why Greenland looks so gigantic on a map, almost the same size as Africa? Or why Alaska appears larger than Mexico, despite being almost three times smaller? It's not a grand conspiracy or a simple oversight. Instead, it's a fascinating consequence of trying to represent our spherical planet on a flat surface. Welcome to the world of map distortion. The Earth, as we know, is a three-dimensional sphere, while maps are two-dimensional. When we try to flatten the Earth's surface to create a map, distortions are bound to occur. It's like trying to peel an orange and lay the peel flat. You'll either have to stretch it or cut it, neither of which represents the original shape accurately. This is the case with map distortion. The most infamous example of this is the Mercator map, named after its creator, the 16th century Flemish cartographer Gerardus Mercator. The Mercator map is a cylindrical projection, a method that involves wrapping a cylinder around the globe and projecting the Earth's surface onto it. This map was designed primarily for navigation, as it maintains accurate directional information. This was incredibly useful for sailors charting their course across the high seas, but it came at a cost. The Mercator map distorts the size of objects as the latitude increases from the equator to the poles, where the scale becomes infinite. Thus, land masses like Greenland and Antarctica appear much larger than they actually are. For instance, Africa is actually 14 times larger than Greenland, contrary to what the Mercator map might lead you to believe. Moreover, the Mercator map has been criticized for its Eurocentric bias. It positions Europe in the center and significantly enlarges the Northern Hemisphere, making developed countries seem larger than many developing countries in the Southern Hemisphere. In this picture, you can, can see the true size of map. Moreover, if you want to see actual size, visit this website link will be given in the description or comments. Let's get back in the video. As you can see, Greenland gets smaller as it gets closer to the equator. It expands again as I move away from the equator. In conclusion, while the Mercator map has played a vital role in navigation, it's important to remember that it's not an accurate representation of size and scale. All maps, by their nature, are a simplification of our complex world and will have some degree of distortion. So next time you look at a map, remember that it's not just a picture, but a representation that carries the marks of its own creation. Alright, don't forget to subscribe. See you in next video and have amazing day.